Hi, my name is Alyssa Dietrich. I'm a calf and heifer specialist with Cargill Animal Nutrition. Uh, part of my job is balancing diets for calves and heifers. So just like a human needs to follow um, certain nutritional guidelines to stay healthy, they need enough protein and energy and vitamins and minerals to grow and stay healthy. Um, so do calves and heifers and cows. And so today we're gonna to talk a little bit about their nutrition, um, what they eat from the time that they're a baby, um, a little bit about that intermediate stage, and then also how we balance um, cow diets for older cows. Calves are fed either milk or milk replacer, um, which is like baby formula for calves. Uh, so this farm is preparing a tank with water and is going to add milk replacer powder to mix up the milk replacer before feeding it to the calves. The powder needs to be measured correctly so that the calves are fed a precise amount. Um, and so you can see here that she is weighing out the milk replacer powder to be added with the correct amount of water. And then the powder is added to water and stirred up so that it goes into one solution so the calves can drink it. Milk replacer and whole milk um, are the main source of feed that calves get and their main source of protein and energy um, early in life. So it's, very, it's a very nutritious uh, meal for calves. So once the milk replacer is mixed, uh, the bottles are filled with milk replacer so that it can be fed to calves. The calves on this farm are fed with bottles. Um, some farms choose to feed calves with buckets or pails instead, and both are very good options for calves um, as long as they drink out of them well and, and everything is kept very clean. So the bottles are fitted with a nipple attachment you can see that's on the top of the bottle the red piece um, so that a calf can drink from it farms that use bottles usually have bottle holders in the calf pen so that um, you can drop off the bottle and let the calf drink alone for any calf that doesn't start to drink right away the farmer will um, help that calf out so that she can get attached to the nipple and start drinking in addition to milk or milk replacer, um, calves are also given water and calf feed. So we call it calf starter sometimes. Um, and the calf feed also provides nutrients to the calves like protein and energy, vitamins and minerals. And in addition to that, it helps the calf's digestive system develop. So you've probably heard that cows have four stomachs. The main stomach on an adult cow is called a rumen but calves are born with a very small rumen and so the dry feed is necessary for the calf to develop that rumen so she needs to eat milk to grow and then dry feed to grow and to develop that stomach so dry feed like the pelleted starter uh, that we saw is often stored in a bin like this um, when a calf is weaned, so they're no longer on milk or milk replacer, they have to rely on dry feed only and water. Um, and so this feed is pelleted so that each individual pellet has all the nutrients a calf needs to grow and stay healthy and to help develop that stomach. Um, the pellets contain different grains that provide protein and energy for the calf. And in addition, a lot of calves will consume some kind of forage or other plant material like hay, which is dried grass, that also provides nutrients to the calf and helps keep the stomach of the calf healthy. So as an animal gets older, their diet changes quite a bit and a lot more of what they eat are those forages, those plant materials. Um, they have a more complicated diet usually that requires a nutritionist to balance the nutrients correctly. And a lot of these diets are mixed in big wagons that can combine all the ingredients equally like in this video. In this video, this is at a different farm, um, this mixer is combining all the ingredients and it's getting fed into an elevator so that um, it can be transported over to where the cows are. Hi, I'm Josh Gertz. I work for Cargill Animal Nutrition in Central Pennsylvania. 
Uh, today I'm going to show you what corn silage looks like that we feed dairy cows. As you can see in this bag, it's chopped uh, corn that you'll see when you're driving around. Uh, you see the tall corn is standing out in the fields. Uh, the farms will come and will actually chop that stuff at a certain time of the year into little pieces and that goes into a dairy cow diet. Uh, like humans, dairy cows eat a uh, variety of different things and we balance their diet so they stay healthy and productive. So what we have here is a TMR, which stands for Total Mixed Ration. Um, in here we have the corn silage that I showed you out there in a the bag. There's also hay particles in here. We chop hay up as well. And there's also corn itself and protein sources. It's important for dairy cattle to have a well-balanced diet where they have hay and forage along with grain for their energy needs. Um, and we want to make sure that we have enough of all of those and in a proper combination so the rumens or their stomachs stay healthy and stay working properly. If one of these things were to get out of balance, it causes an unhealthy digestion in the cow. Um, so it's very important that we measure all this stuff, we test it, and we ensure that their daily diet is balanced out. The dairy cows work hard every day. Um, they make us a great product, milk that's packed full of vitamins and nutrients for us. So in order for us to keep them making that milk, we gotta replace those vitamins and nutrients uh, which is what we put in here, just like a uh, Olympic athlete that has a well-balanced diet, so do these cows every day, so we make sure they're in top condition and, and they have top performance. All right, so we just got finished learning about cow nutrition, and we talked a lot about a TMR, which is a total mixed ration. It's a mix of different ingredients so that we can provide lots of different nutrients to the cow. Let's talk about how we can relate it to human nutrition. So if I think of what a human TMR could be, I think of trail mix. We're combining different ingredients to provide different nutrients for our bodies. So if you're hiking and walking around burning a lot of calories, expending a lot of energy, trail mix is a good way to replenish that energy. Um, and so I have some ingredients here that I would like to put in trail mix for myself, um, starting with some dried fruit. So we have some um, raisins and dried cranberries and also some dried banana if you like banana. And the fruit is really important because it has sugar, it has other carbohydrates that are important for refueling your body and also fiber, which is important for your digestive system and vitamins and minerals. So add as much as you want knowing that it's gonna provide you with some energy. And then also I have um, some yogurt covered mini pretzels. Uh, so these also have some sugar. They have starch, which is another carbohydrate, helps you ref refuel your body, and some salt, which is an electrolyte. So when you're burning calories and sweating, you wanna replenish some salt as well. Plus they're very tasty, so that definitely helps. And then finally, I have some nuts here. So nuts provide different nutrients than the fruit and the pretzels. They're gonna provide more fat and protein. Um, so protein's important for maintaining your muscles and fat is also an important energy source. Um, I have peanuts here. And I also have walnuts, which have um, some heart healthy um, fats that are important for your health as well. So just like a cow TMR where we have different ingredients to provide um, you know, protein and carbohydrates and different vitamins and minerals to the cow, that's the same thing with trail mix. So when we're burning a lot of calories, um, we can use trail mix to replenish those nutrients. So you just mix it up and then um, hopefully bag it up and hopefully you have a fun place and a fun activity to go do this summer where you can bring your trail mix along and think of cows while you're doing it. So thank you so much for joining. Tune in on the next video. Thanks.